And now that they have this mix, so I'm actually going to use a hook. It's full. So there we go, all cleaned up. Here we go. We missed it. Hello all you wonderful people and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new. I really hope all of you are having an amazing day. And yeah, as you probably saw by the title of the video, it's another feeding video. But to be honest, I haven't had a lot more else to film this uh, week. But we're also going to clean out a bin for the, one of the BOA in brothers. I'm gonna explain that later. But yeah, uh, stick around and I really hope you'll enjoy this. Here's a bit feisty. Yeah, she looks really thick. So if you guys didn't get that, it's the smaller snakes I'm going to feed. So yeah. But first of all, I have to clean out the bin where the boa lives. Yeah, so guys, the boa lives in here. And why she lives in here, I'm going to explain that to you. But as you guys can see, she has shed out, so I have to clean this bin. First I have to put her in a holding container. See that she has shed out completely, and yeah, it looks like it. So put her in this until I clean the bin. Yeah, now you may be wondering why she lives in this bin. Well, that's because she hasn't eaten that good for a while. So I keep her in this to monitor her, well, her well-being. Because she used to live with the other boa and brother, and that uh, enclosure is very hard to, well, monitor the health because it is so many. Well, you can see. You see, she used to live in here, and normally she used to bury down in the substrate, so I want her to be more exposed so I can keep, well, an eye on her. Because this girl that lives in here, as you probably know guys, she's doing amazing. But, this one, that's actually pretty angry now. Well, I have to make sure that she starts to eat regularly and yeah, just to make sure she is healthy. But now time to clean the bin. So there we go, all cleaned up and yeah, maybe wondering why I use um, paper. It's because I want to see if she poops or pees normally. If I have substrate, you can't really see that. But this only means that I have to, you know, uh, mist a little bit more often. So yeah. And uh, well, guys, this snake is not happy at the moment. So probably I will get bit. But I'm gonna put that bin back on the shelf and fill up with water again, and then put her back. And hopefully she'll eat today. Well, this is not a happy snake, so I'm actually going to use a hook. But as I said before, it's not like it's not like you want to get bit. But yeah, I'm gonna put it back in a bin. See, she is not happy. That's one thing as well. Her behavior has changed, so yeah. I'm gonna hopefully I'll find out what's wrong with her. And today we started to corn snakes. I know they're both in shed, so hopefully they'll eat anyway. If he just can get him to smell it. There he is. See his eyes? They're so blue. Oh man. Oh he missed it. There you go, here buddy. 
think I'll take it. Come on, man. He has never missed a meal, actually. Take it, buddy. Come on. Well, maybe if I put it here. Maybe here. It actually starts to eat it, hopefully. Yeah, but he's going through shed, so maybe he just needs to calm down before he eats. And I'm actually pretty sure that the female is going through shed as well. And she's in here. If I can get a better angle of this. And strike it. There. There we go. There we go. Now oh, she's got it. He just took it. Well, that's amazing. Now let's see if this angry little girl wants to eat. Well, that was a bit of a bite. She is just so angry. Come on, take it. It's food. It's food. Well, I'm gonna leave it there and hopefully you'll eat. Well, you leave it there. So please start to eat now. Let's jump over to Gunner. He's behind this foliage. So don't know where his head is though. Sorry man. There it says. Food. Food for you, my little darling. Come on, angry man. Food, food, food. Well, where did his head go? Well, I put it here and Let's hope you'll eat. There, I think. <laughs> you angry, angry little dude. But we have food there now, so please start to eat. So, next we have Sun Ranch and Sunset. Um, see Sunset. Oh, there his head is. Well, there he is. Can you get this? A good shot of this. Well, there you go. He's got it. Well, I do think his plan was to pull it in the hole, but yeah. That was real good. Now sunrise. Camera does not want to focus. I know she's in here, so oh. that was a real gentle strike. I barely felt it. Yeah, she's got it. If you can see that. No, oh, she let go. Why? Okay, maybe I have to get it to grab it again. There we go, yeah. Now she's got it. And next up are these two. I think you'll get the big one this time. Awesome. Well, why, why I'm doing this with the rat is because 
mimics the rat being alive. And if they think that the rat is being alive, they use more of their muscles. So it's actually to activate the snake's muscles that they normally use in the wild when they, you know, when they eat live. So that's why I'm doing this with the tongs sometimes, especially with the constrictors. Yeah, now time for this big girl. Oh, here we go. Well, this one maybe I can't. So yeah, great. And now time for this girl. Grab it. Okay, what's up with her now? Well, for some reason, she does not seem interested in the food, but I'm thinking about doing a drop feed anyway. So I'm gonna put the rat in the enclosure and hopefully she'll start to eat anyway. It's food. Go crazy, man. It's food. Oh. He just runs away. You see? Put the food there, and he's there, so hopefully he smells it and realize, realizes that it's food for him. See his tongue? <laughs> So cute. But you have a mouse there, so eat that little buddy. I'm gonna try again. No. Well, maybe he starts to eat. Or he's just being angry. But we better leave him be now and hopefully he starts to eat. Maybe, maybe. And of course my act got fed as well but i actually don't know what happened to the audio it got all messed up so uh, well i hope this is good enough and that you'll enjoy it anyway Yeah, to be honest guys, this actually went on for a while, but eventually the suffering ended for a cockroach. So, you can see I did a few cuts here. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. And the boa, she actually did eat. She ate the mouse. And she also ate a pink rat that I put in the bin as well. And she ate those overnight. As you can see, wardrobe change. Because I honestly forgot to film the outro last day. So yeah, this is the day after. And uh, 
I'm also trying to get two episodes out per week, but it's actually hard sometimes when you work and you have kids, you know, it's hard to find the time sometimes. And uh, when you do all this by yourself, it's a lot of work. So I hope you have, uh, I hope you have patience with me. So yeah, I'm trying my best. But anyway, I'm gonna leave with these guys as usual. Take care, be kind to someone, and at least always try to show other people respect. And also, follow your dreams. So, till next time, goodbye guys, and I love you.